Hey everybody, welcome to Moment of Clarity. It's becoming increasingly clear that this crisis is far more than just a virus. It is already causing a crushing economic crisis. Even the Federal Reserve is now estimating that the coronavirus job losses could total 47 million and the unemployment rate may hit 32%, a third of all Americans unemployed. And so many people are wondering, how did this happen? Why is this happening? Yes, I understand there's a virus and so we can't go to the restaurants, but why is the economy collapsing down around us? Why was it so tenuous to begin with? Why was it like uh, dandelion spores? Wasn't it supposed to be robust? Weren't, weren't we all employed and everything was great and Trump would run around saying, look how high the stock market is, right? What happened to all of that just because of a couple of weeks of staying in your house. The reason is because the true sickness we're seeing is disaster capitalism run by a plutocracy, which I know sounds like an uh, uh, economic system run by Mickey Mouse's dog. But in fact, it's ruled by a wealthy elite. The wealth of our country has been so severely and extremely sucked to the top, just extracted out of almost everything and given to the, into the hands of a, a few people so severely, so extremely, that it's put most Americans in a very precarious position, a very unstable position, where all it takes is a couple of weeks, all it takes is a $1,000 crisis for your average American family to go into debt, to not be able to pay their rent, to not be able to pay their, their, their debt and their loans and their credit card payments. That's all it takes is a tiny little crisis. It is incredibly precarious, incredibly unstable. It's, it, our economy is basically like a it's like a Jenga game that's been set up on the twerking ass of a stripper it's like uh, it's like Chris Christie riding on Anne Hathaway's shoulder it's incredibly unstable it's like Betty White on a skateboard going down a steep hill it is phenomenally unstable and I think that's all the analogies I have at the moment. And as detailed by Vijay Prashad, we have seen over the past many years the growth of large-scale and permanent precarious employment, underemployment, and unemployment. This is not a problem created by the coronavirus or by the collapse of oil prices. This is a structural problem for which a term precariat or precarious proletariat was invented at least a decade ago. If we hadn't all been barely scraping by before this started, then we wouldn't be in a crisis this deep right now. If we hadn't all been a hair's width away from disaster to begin with, we wouldn't be this deep in the crisis right now. If we hadn't all been job insecure, then we wouldn't be this deep into a crisis right now. If we had all had paid sick leave and free health care and stable careers and stable pensions and retirements, then we wouldn't be this deep into a crisis right now. And now the response of those plutocrats is completely wrong. They're not learning the right lessons because they're incapable of learning lessons that don't enrich them. Right now, they are giving themselves a multi-trillion dollar bailout, a, a mammoth giveaway to the ruling elite and the corporate captains of this system. That is their answer. That is their answer for every crisis. Fucking throw trillions of dollars at the rulers of this system. This bailout includes $454 billion for the Treasury Department to hand over to the Federal Reserve. That money could then be placed into a credit facility and leveraged up to 10 to 1, which would create a $4.5 trillion money cannon aimed at the largest corporations in America. You and I are not going to see much of that money, all right? Those $1,200 checks are nothing compared to the trillions that are being fired at the tops of corporations. Much of that trillions is in loan guarantees, which means the corporations can use it however the fuck they want. Many of them will just fill their own pockets. And then if they fail to pay back that loan, the federal government will step in and handle it, meaning taxpayer money will be used to handle it. So this is yet again something you won't hear on your mainstream media. You won't hear on your corporate airwaves where they're not allowed to say anything against the ruling elite for the most part, at least not the generalized systems structure. They won't 
don't tell you that the reason this crisis is so severe is because we were so unstable to begin with. We were so fragile to begin with. We were a meek, scared child in a raging blizzard, and now we've been hit with a crisis. But I will say we're seeing an impressive amount of solidarity among average people, among workers, among those who are not the ruling elite, who are not the tiny number of rich who oversee the systems. We're seeing people come together. We're seeing workers' strikes demanding uh, fairer conditions at the workplace. We're seeing people helping out neighbors, helping out their fellow human beings, because now is not the time to be divided. Now is the time to find out who in your community needs help the most. One place that you can donate to that I think is uh, pretty damn good is mutualaiddisasterrelief.org. That's mutualaiddisasterrelief.org. Uh, you can go there. They have chapters in most cities around the country. You can volunteer. You can donate money. Basically, they just uh, bring groceries and uh, necessities to those who need it in your community and have no other way to get it. Uh, that's the entirety of what they're doing, really, and uh, I think it's pretty great. So check that out, and now is the time to stand with each other rather than standing for a system that has failed us again and again and again. That's your moment of clarity for today. If you want some, uh, some free content, I know many of you are sitting at home without a lot to do. If you want some free content, check out my comedy special. It's at LeeCampAmerican.com. It's called Not Allowed on American TV because of the things I say, like this video, which you can't really hear on American TV. So uh, Not Allowed on American TV. It's at LeeCampAmerican.com. Completely free. All I ask is that you share it with friends. Tell them about it. And... Uh, Keep fighting out there.